Hello, welcome back to Interior Design Tech, where we make design software programs easy for interior designers. In today's video, we will be reviewing how to import, explode, and scale a PDF. So for example, if you are working with an existing CAD drawing, say that you have gotten from an architect, and you run into where you need to also work on that drawing, um, but it comes in as a PDF. You don't necessarily have the DWG or AutoCAD file. You can turn your PDF into an actual working CAD drawing that you can then begin to edit. So we are going to import a PDF. This PDF will be in this section. So just go to the section and click on the link attached. So the first thing we want to do is get into a new drawing. So I'm just gonna go into File, New Drawing, and open up a regular AutoCAD template. Now once you're in your fresh new drawing, you are going to click this icon here that has a paper clip attached to a little piece of paper and you're going to find your file. Once you find your PDF file, you're gonna go ahead and click open. And then you will get a attach PDF dialog box come up. And all the settings within this dialog box are going to just be standard. So you're just gonna go ahead and say attach. Now your PDF is attached to your cursor. And once you click, it'll ask you to specify a scale factor. You don't necessarily have to specify a scale factor, so you can just kind of click anywhere. Now you have to have a at least one specified dimension on this plan. So as you can see, our PDF here has a bunch of dimensions. Now I'm just going to choose a random dimension that I want to work off of. As I zoom in, here just between these two triangle triangle midpoints. Now the next thing we'll do is highlight our PDF, get into the scale tool, specify the base point of the point we are going to scale from, which is this point on the left triangle here. And then you're going to type ref to specify our reference length which is the 1.4834. And then you're going to specify our new length and our new length is what we see is the actual length at 10 foot two. So what happened here is we checked the dimension that is imported as we have imported it between these two points. And as you saw, that dimension did not display the same dimension as it really is supposed to be. It came out to one inch and change, almost one and a half inches, versus 10 feet, two inches. So essentially we are scaling that one inch all the way up to 10 feet. And so our new length is 10 feet, two inches. We just wanna go back in and double check by getting into our dimension tool and taking the dimension of in between these points. And as you can see, it is 122 inches. The reason being that this is coming out in decimals is because we have not set up our dim styles to show as architectural. So it is coming out in decimals, but it's the same figure. Essentially, if that dimension is scaled, all the rest of the dimensions within the drawing are scaled as well. And now you have a scaled drawing. Now the next thing we'll review is how to explode this PDF. As you can see, as we highlight the PDF, we're not able to select any lines. It is simply one drawing and we aren't able to adjust any of the lines or actually maneuver this PDF. So we're going to select the PDF and then get into this little icon PDF import. It has the PDF letters on a piece of paper. And once you get into that, you're going to then use your cursor to select your entire PDF from corner to corner. Now you have the option 
to keep, detach, or unload. So we're going to type unload. And essentially this will now explode all the lines within this PDF. So as I zoom in, you'll be able to see that I can now select each individual line and I can maneuver it however I want to maneuver it at this point. So this is showing you how to import a PDF. And then you can go ahead and save it however you'd like to save it. We hope that helped with learning how to import and explode and scale a PDF. To get notified when we upload more tutorials covering AutoCAD and other design software programs, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And as always, thank you for watching. See you soon.